day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, joined with me by Alistair the Skull, and today we are your hosts in Darkest Dungeon. The Darkest Dungeon. And I bring you an interesting episode today, for we have seen this warrior's retribution in the Sunwood Isles for a lot, for a while now. For those of you who know not of it, allow me to re alliterate what it is. The vengeful spirit is a condemned soul that yearns for revenge. It is a hateful being holding malice towards the humans who have betrayed it. The longer it lives, the stronger it gets gets. Destroy it now when you have the chance. So, because this thing's an evil spirit, I decided I should send in the Gentlemanly Inquisition. In here today, we have Isaac, our legendary crusader, to lead the charge. Damdrone, our legendary flagellant, to back him up from behind. We have Riscal, our newly named legendary torchbearer, to light the way into our glory, and Saiketsu, our legendary paladin, to make sure we all have the endurance to keep going for all eternity. That's right, boys and girls of every age. Today, we are playing Team Religion! As we head into the Sunward Isles to cure the, this place of the plague. The plague being the undead that sicken it. You must be shapeless, formless, like water. Do you think you can be water, Alistair? Why not? What's wrong with be? Do I have to put you into a into a blender, Alistair, to liquefy you? Are you gonna act like water? That's what I thought. All right. Scouting ahead. There's a room battle ahead. We worry not, for we are not concerned with it. Well, those are new. The hell are these? Hateful... Durubatu. Well, Hateful Durubatu, can you bleed? Yes, then I do not care. Flame them all down! That is our your job. We have no concern for their wants, their needs. They listen to us. Um. Okay. I admit I wasn't expecting that sort of thing. For you to, you know, go underground. Wail of the Tormented. You, your wailing cannot affect our legendary crusaders. You're looking a little stressed right there. Riscal, how about you give yourself some stress healing? Deus Bort, infidel! You had a 20% chance to hit, Isaac, and that's the kind of statistics we like to see. You know how to kill when it truly matters, don't you? You know the exact correct phrase. Let's hear it now, Isaac. Deus Bort! That's right, Isaac. Oh god, that was so overpowered. I did not realize Saiketsu would be as good as he is using the last the last hope. Or whatever the hell the bloody thing's called. Congratulations, you healed yourself a little. Are you are you proud of yourself? Would you like to die now? No. Nope. You didn't manage to Deus Vault him this time, Isaac. Now. Let me all state to you how broken is it Saiketsu's healing is right now. Because this trinket gives him plus four additional healing. This trinket gives him plus... His ability from doing judgment gives him plus three additional healing. That does six healing. Meaning that from that, that, and that, he is going to do 13 healing. Approximately. Plus what? Plus an extra one because of 10% thanks to the... To the bit... To the Holy Light Altar building. Now... The thing is, he gets plus three and plus 
four, which applies also to the two healing we gain from last night, because it's a separate heal. So, that does 14, and then he gets healed for an additional 10, for a total of 24 healing consistently. Wow, Isaac. Oh, wow, Saiketsu, I should say. Just wow. Deus Vort! Good job murdering that thing. What's your chance to hit? 10%. Not the highest chance. How about you just give it Saiketsu a mega heal? Even when you're not buffed, you heal for 18 HP. Oh, welcome to the surface. Cannot borrow again, minus 30 odd dodge. Well, Deus Vort, infidel! That's Isaac's opinion of you and your blood and you and your bloody diving. Okay. I like this dungeon so far. It's a straight line. We don't have to worry all that much. Slow draw removed. You know what? That's actually a really nice quirk for you to lose. Well done. This is a trap. Our only weakness. Religious folks aren't very good with traps. I'm sorry? Raise the sun! Sun's adherent. Sun's adherent. I mean, we're team religion, so... Plus 10% virtue chance if torch above 40, it's going to be. Plus 10% pl stress if torch below 40. Hmm. Replace hard noggin. Ah, did you have to replace hard noggin? That's quite a nice one. Oh yeah, so, so for the, the one who suggested I introduce the sun mod a while ago, I've had it inst I've actually had it turned on the last couple of weeks. This is the first time it's ever shown up. So, yeah. Nice fun. That was definitely an interesting thing to come across. Perfect f thing to come across for team religion. They praise us. They know what it is our, in our holy duty. They approve of it more so than anything. Go! Fry them all! It says you're a heretic! Well, that's two dead this turn, which is pretty damn good. Gone. And gone. I admit, team religion isn't the most damaging. But if it's anything... It's bloody survivable. And is immune to stunning. No one can stun Team Religion. No one can hurt Team Religion when a single heal is 30 HP. And no, in no shape or form, are we ever going to fight in the dark. I think I brought too much food for Team Religion. I don't think I need this much. I mean, I might as well see what's inside it. Uh, look, I get an Amori. That's good. And three of those. That's already more worth more than a pile of gold. Dears fault. Dears fault. Dears fault. Dears fault. Dears fault. No, I will not stop it, Alistair, and you can't make me. Dears fault. Perfect crit, a Saiketsu. And now it dies. Effortless. Deus Vault indeed, my friends. No, Damdron, we do not collect ourselves, for there is no worry ahead of us. Apparently that's a cure over room without a, without a problem. We don't need to camp until we need to properly heal or de-stress, which we don't and probably never will. I think there's a gl there's a graphical error here. Yeah, that's a graphical error. You know, Saiketsu, you really do an awful lot of damage when I don't give you that tr that guard trinket. Don't do restoration on everything. No one likes that. Still, this hulking high commune. What a weird thing. You took nine stress. Wow, that's actually nothing. And you're dead now. Meaning, I don't need to care. 
You, however, I do need to care, because you're kind of worrying. Meaning, you need to get fried. In a join. What the bloody hell just happened to you? Isaac, are you okay? That there does not look right. Okay, if we can just hit the big thing one more time. Oh, I didn't account for the restoration. Damn it. Well, you didn't manage to do anything, did you, you stupid umbrella? So... Yeah, now this thing's dead. Dying burst. It hurt everything, apparently. You know, you're looking a little stressed there, is it? Would you like some stress healing? Yes, I thought you might. Come on now, Deus Vault. Good job, Saiketsu. Deus Vault. And the thing is gone, meaning it's not dungeon. It doesn't last the entire dungeon. That's good, that's good. Surprisingly, there's not a battle in that Kyoro room, which I find very peculiar. That heals and gives a small restoration. That's actually kind of nice. And it's worth six, 500, 250 gold at the end of the turn. Which doesn't matter because of the fact I'm never going to need that much money. Because I make more money than that at the end of my... At the end of every dungeon, thanks to the bank. So me actually having those money items right there in, the, in my inventory is actually pointless. And I should be taking more busts. What the hell's this thing then? Ah, it's this! You know what, Isaac? I have faith in you. I no longer have faith in you. But at the same time, I don't think it matters either. Because our stress healing is stupid. Okay, Isaac, if you would like to, you know, simply just go crash and murder a couple of bastards, and then we're just gonna do that and make s some things even worse. And then finally, if we can just get a nice mega hit like that on her, we don't have to worry about stress at all, in the slightest. Oh yeah, you give me torch when I attack, don't you? Forget about that. Right then. So. You're dead. You're dead. Only one thing left to kill. But first, we'd better restore our torch. Yeah, I like my torch. Oh, you're about to go underground. Great. All right, Mr. Coward. Dig down. Restore yourself. I guess. I'm sure we can hit you eventually. Possibly. Isaac can. Isaac's not having any of your bullcrap. That's quite a nice item. 3,200 gold for that random trinket that gives increased damage when you repost. Yes, please. What's this sun relic do, by the way? Plus 50% piercing versus mark. On attack miss, mark target. On attack. On attack hit. Plus torch. On attack hit, consume mark. That's actually really nice, because it means you don't actually have to have a proper marker in the team. And theoretically... No, it's on attack miss you mark the target. If it's attack miss, that's actually not so good. Unless there's also a way to say you are guaranteed to miss unless you the target is marked. Which then wouldn't be good, because you're guaranteed to miss. It's complicated. Hi, Isaac. Do you want to Deus Vault today? Yes, you do. You do banish thee. They are to be banished. You are taking none of the bullcrap. What's that move? How, what is that move again? Plus 100% st stun chance if torch but above 75. Are you just being obscenely lucky? Riscal. Because I've seen you be- you've, I've been see it, watching you. You know. What am I call it? Stun things I don't think you should have been able to stun. Ah, uh, so satisfying to just watch them melt. It really is. Hit 
the spider. The spider needs to die. Now, hopefully, Riscal can have a turn before they die. Of course he can. She's had her turn. And she's the only thing left. Ah, a nice stress heal. I mean, we're no longer max torchlight or anything, but... I mean, I'm sure we could just heal ourselves for... 25 damage. And the best part about having two incidences of healing as well means you got two chances to crit. And that, good sirs, is why I don't remove the shovels. Shovels! You guys are hungry. You know what? I think it's fair. You've had a good hard ah! work of... Okay, guys. You guys want to Deus Vault? This is the time to do your ultimate Deus Vaulting. Time to prove yourselves as the true... You know, what am I call it? The true Inquisition. By killing this thing. Without too much worry, I should hope. That's a bit of worry right there. Deus support. That's one thing gone. And soon to be another, I'm assuming. You know, this thing's probably going to stress us out a lot. We may want to make sure we have our negative 30% stress for the battle. Damn it, damn drone. Just try. We are basically immune to stunning. You are going to be Deus Vaulted. One way or another. Oh, you want a life steal from us, do you? Oh, how cute. We're gonna show you what happens when you life steal. Damn it, damn drone. 23 healing plus 19 for a total of 42 healing with a single heal. Jesus, this that last item is too powerful on the bloody what on the bloody infidel. paladin. And you know what? Stunning the collector is so very nice every time I get the chance. Hmm. Do I heal Isaac or do I just hit the bastard and kill him now? I can't deny them the chance to Deus Vault. That is just too inhumane of me. Wow. I wanted a head. I'm actually denying that item. Gee, talk about a huge dungeon. Alright, what do we have ahead of us? Two fights and a bunch of Kuros. Up here we got a fight, and then two fights, and then another two fights, and a fight over there. So you know what? I think I'm going to go the lesser way for fighting. Sure, we're meant to purge everything, but I think pur purging the, the glitch is more important than purging most of the things we have available for us to purge. Especially when they do that to poor old is it? Deus Vort! Ah... You learnt that in the arena, did you? Oh! They may not do the most amount of damage, but by god, do they do actually a fair amount of dot damage. Non nobis domine! 34 crit, plus 13, 47 healing. I have, I have officially found the way to out-heal the occultist. By accident. Like, I didn't realize this friendly skill plus two heal was actually a, like, separate healing incidence. So, having the character which can have plus additional healing on both a major trinket and on an attack like that is just kinda silly. So silly. Dying burst. Didn't you just kill him as well? I think you did just kill him. Oh wait, no, he's got restoration. He didn't kill him. That was a mistake on my part. You know what? Most importantly, I'm glad I didn't put 
the the last light on Riscal like I was originally planning to. Because I thought to myself, I can have the Torchbearer do stress healing and a little bit of extra healing on top. What's the harm? And apparently everything. Ooh, portraits. We need portraits. You can never have too many portraits. I don't think we need holy water at this point. Get rid of the holy water. I might need keys. I don't know if I need keys. I'm probably going to need the holy water. An old shrine bell. Hmm. If I remember rightly, this could get rid of negative quirks by just using it. But it could also delete positive quirks. Rascal, you're using it. I don't see the pro I don't see the problem. Devoted quirk removed. That quirk did literally nothing. There is a reason I got you to do it, Riscal. Because you don't actually have any good quirks. See what I mean? This was the route for purging the glitches. I knew exactly which way I was going when I did this. I have your back. Wow, you're guarding the thing that's going to die in two turns. And it doesn't even give you a buff. Okay, that hurt. So now I have to waste my turn healing them. How much damage was it you just did? Was it, again? 25-ish? 22? Some stupid number like that? Let me show you a stupider mo number in just a moment. Because... Nothing says proper screw you like just deleting all the healing, all the damage you just did. With a crit. Without a crit. Ha! The only issue I do admit is AoE. Because we are kind of lacking in that department. Who's missing more health? Isaac is missing more health. Isaac, get mega healed. Well, we win, so... I don't know what else you want from me, guys. Stress healing? I think you're more than welcome to, to demand that. You know, I can't help but feel one of the most important questions right now is... Do I even need the campsite? And the answer is yes, for when we go fight the boss. Wherever it may be. We may have completely gone the wrong way. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Can I come back for you? We didn't scout? That's the first time this dungeon we haven't scouted. Did you have to go first and get the retaliating rhythm? The retaliating rhythm, rhythm is a bastard ability. Let me show you an even more bastard ability. The one that stuns you all. Without the buff, I still heal for 18. It is so fun. I love being broken. I love broken bullcrap like this. You're dead. You're dead. You're gonna survive, but you're stunned, so it's irrelevant. This is like the perfect combo. You may be dead now. You are dead now. Nice. Ah! Hello there. Immobilized? In other words, we can't move? Do you not realize how bleeding perfect that is? What's with the anchor taking damage when you miss? Shackling anchor ho anchor holds it to this realm. Ah! Okay. So, any damage I deal to you, I deal to the anchor? Okay, now that's a bastard ability. I'm gonna do that. Do it as a heal. So currently, I basically have no chance to kill you. Because 
the only way to kill you is by killing the anchor. Right? I can hit you! Okay. Can you stop cleaving? Oh, for hell's sake. I am gonna keep just doing this, though. Pray, pray, no, don't go first, no, stop that. Okay, that doesn't count for death's door. Don't, pray, I need help, we need mega... It's a true Ooh. test. No! Saiketsu, no! Just. When does that take damage? Guys, I think we need to retreat. Guys, I'm. You do. You take damage whenever you do that Equilal ability, do you? Okay. We need to leave, I'm afraid, guys. We've lost. We've lost! We lost Saiketsu! We lost the healer! He murdered the healer straight away because he's a fucking prick! I find it to be compl- I find the guy who's completely broken and OP, and then he just decides to murder him! Stop giving me level zero characters! I should have taken the martyr. <sighs> the problem is, there isn't a bloody religious character that works in position four. There is not a single one. The torchbearer works from position three and two. One, two, three. Not four. The... The Crusader and the Flagellant are one and two. The Crusader can work anywhere. It just wasn't an option. It wasn't fair. Okay. So, to end the ep episode after that devastating defeat at the hands of the Vengeful Spirit, because who would have thought that I'm not allowed to... I needed to attack the back row in order to win? I wouldn't have. I never would have assumed that. We have... The option to go kill the Shrieker. Which is apparently a level 3 version. But we don't care that it's a level 3 version. Because we're going to kill it all the same. Because all we need is a holy water each, and then possibly some curatives if needed. Who do we have? We have Luca to do damage. We have Luna to mark it with her new crossbow. And we have Daniel to do damage. And then we got Lazarus to do some healing. Although I feel I should have someone other than Lazarus, because Lazarus can't hurt things. Shrug, now we can hurt them a little. Okay, Mr. Crow. We're coming to get you. I want my last flame back, please, if you don't mind. And to do that, I need to beat you, either by killing you or making you run away. Obviously, I prefer one over the other. Alistair, I am not rambling to extend the time of this video. Shut up. I am doing... I want to kill you, Mr. Crow Man. Ow. Attach that, and you have a 60 odd percent chance to hit. God bloody damn it, Daniel! Good job, Luca! Right, you can hit or you can miss. It is actually your choice. Why do you got a negative 25 percent? Oh, because of calm and because of light sensitive. What about now? Now it's just... Now it's only negative 15%. Okay, so I can actually put out the light in the middle of combat. Well, that's good to know. I can probably add light in the middle of combat too in that case. Either way. Bang! Oh, and now you're marked. Meaning, prepare to hurt. Don't 
Daniel, it went to the back, but that doesn't mean a thing, because you can still miss it. Luca, I have faith in you. You did less damage to it last time than you did to it this time. Why is it no longer marked? You know what? You can actually hit it. You actually hit it! And you shuffled it to the back? You bloody bastard! Right, Daniel. Would you like to hit? Thank you. I don't think we can do enough damage right now. Because this is the third round. Meaning, unless you, solved by some miracle, hit and crit, it's gonna run away. Unless you hit and crit, which you do, okay, fair, fair, fair. Well done, guys. Well done. You have recovered our trinkets, whatever the hell they are. It said I was miss. I had lost eight. I don't remember losing eight. What eight are you talking about? Okay, seal of insight. Thank you. A bunch of useless crap I really don't care about. Where's the one I actually do care about? Particular striker. Plus ten accuracy versus eight versus marked. That's actually not bad for a mark character. Why the hell do you need Hippocratic? In fact, why did I get a negative? Shrieker quirk. When I killed it. One free building upgrade. Oh, thank you very much. You know, I decided to check just because I wondered why I didn't get it, so... Why the hell do I still have it? You're right, Alistair. Don't question it. If you have it, you have it. It's good. It's fine. What's not fine is we lost the most powerful person in the game who could use it. Like, any... Anyone with a plus trinket... Like, uh, what am I call it? This. It's good. They're good with it. However, the paladin had it built into a trinket and an ability. No one can beat the paladin in terms of the bullcrap they could pull with it. The cataphract can a little, but not to really. Well, today has been a disappointment. So, everyone... What can I say other than I apologize that this week's episode is probably a bit shorter than normal, but I didn't expect to first meet that thing so quickly, and neither to die to it so quickly. So everyone, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I have been your host today, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English Gentleman of the internet and i hope to see you all again next time but i'm afraid that until then i must b it's time for me to bid the all farewell good farewell good day and finally good night